Good day, good day everybody and once again we're back together. Alright, so we are still continuing on that Euclidean geometry. So please, if you haven't subscribed, just make sure that you're part of the family. In fact, we're looking at the proportionality theorem. Alright, so let's get right into it. They say in the diagram below we've got um, ABC, which is a right angle triangle. Right, they tell us that angle A is 90 degrees. Right, so that's angle A over there indicated. And they tell us that AD is perpendicular to BC. Right, okay, so we know that this angle is 90 degrees as well as uh, D3. Okay, they say AB is parallel to ED. Right, that's indicated and CE... Uh, CE, or rather the ratio of CE to EA is 2 is to 1. So that means CE, there's CE over there. That's 2 to EA, which is 1. So uh, please always just may uh, put a variable to it uh, so that you just remember that that's not the distance, but it is a ratio that is represented, right? So that's CE, that's uh, 2x to 1x. Right, and then they say BC is 12 centimeters. Now they say to us, we must prove that triangle ADC, right, is similar to triangle BAC. So uh, I can see that uh, ADC, okay, that's, it's this triangle here, right? And ABC is the bigger triangle. That's the big triangle over there. Right, now, what do we note? I'm already seeing that C is common between the two. Okay, so angle C is the one that is common. Okay, so I'm going to write it there. C is common. And in this case, we've already established that angle uh, ADC. ADC is equal to angle A. That's 90 degrees. Okay, both of those were given. And in this case, uh, you can mention the fact that yeah, it was given that AD is parallel, I mean, it's perpendicular to BC, right? But either way, it's given. And finally, we know that therefore angle B should be equal to angle D2. Okay. So angle B should be equal to angle, not D2, uh, uh, A2 rather. Angle A2. And this would be because it is the third angle of a triangle. Now remember, if we've got two angles that are equal, the third angle automatically becomes equal on two different triangles. So therefore, we can say that therefore, triangle ADC is similar to triangle BAC. And that is because three angles are equal. So we say angle, angle, angle. All right. So we're done with that guy. Now they say to us, show that AC squared is equal to DC multiplied by BC. So what you do, ladies and gents, you go to the very same uh, uh, proof that you've made. So we know that AD, right, notice, over BA. So it must be sides that are kind of vertices, rather, that are corresponding in that case. So AD over BA would be equal to DC over AC over AC and this would be equal to AC over BC. Right, so that's what we have. Right, and remember that is because of the proportionality theorem. So that's the prop theorem. And please, I want you to note in this case, uh, if two triangles are similar, right, we know that their sides are proportionality, uh, are proportional rather. So that's the proportionality theorem. So now 
we're looking to prove that AC squared. Now, we're looking for AC, so there's AC there. So I'm going to take this ratio. There's another AC, so I'm going to take that ratio. And what I'm going to do is cross multiply them, right? So in this case, AC multiplied by AC, that will give me AC squared. And that would be equal to DC multiplied by BC. And that is how the cookie crumbles. We've proven it. Okay, so the next one says to us DC over BC. So let's see, where is DC? There it is there. Over BC, that's the entire side there, right? Okay, so that should be equal to, and now please I want you to note that's equal to CE, right, over the entire side, which is CA. So that would be CA. And the reason for that is the proportionality theorem. And note you could have said that there is a line that is parallel to the third side of a triangle. Right, ladies and gents, I hope that is clearly understood. Okay, and we are going to go into the next one. They say determine the length of DC. I suppose that they want us to use exactly the ratio that we've just, uh, we just had from the previous question because it does have DC in it. So DC over BC is equal to CE over CA. Now, remember, we were given the ratio of CE. So CE is 2x, but CA would be 2x plus x, which means that's 3x. That's going to be 2x over 3x. Remember, where does that come from? We said that's the proportionality theorem, but we've already proven that. Okay, so DC is what we're looking for. We know is equal to 2 over 3, right? We can cancel out the ratios there. So DC is equal to, now we're given the value of BC, right? So DC over BC, which is 12. There it is, it's given there, is equal to 2 over 3. And ladies and gents, we can uh, cross multiply. So DC will be 2 over 3 multiplied by 12. And in this case, that would give us 8 centimeters. So we've got DC to be 8 centimeters. All right, ladies and gents, and that is how we get that value. All right, and for the final question, they say, hence, determine the length of AC. So meaning, use the previous result to get the next one. Now, I'm going to just tap into something there that, uh, please, I want you to notice. We've already proven that AC squared is DC times BC, okay? Right, and I'm looking for AC. We know that BC, uh, DC rather is eight centimeters and BC we were given to be 12 centimeters. So AC squared, All right? So eight multiplied by 12. Okay, let's work that out quickly. Um, so that's eight times 12. That's 96. So AC is the square root of 96. All right. And that is in units or oh, centimeters, actually, uh, because our units were. OK, uh, if you wanted to work it out in, in decimal form, that would be nine point. Uh, well, let's say nine point eight centimeters. Uh, but I'm going to leave it in third form. They didn't specify in what form we should leave it. Ladies and gents, that is how the cookie crumbles, right? I hope that this was clear. 
right for now we will be looking at the next question in another video i'll see you guys again next time shop shop